Everyone knows that the experience of online dating between men and women is drastically different. And this is precisely what makes it so hard for guys to know what they need to do to get the best results. Because they keep thinking like a guy from a guy's experience. But in reality, a woman's experience on dating apps like Tinder is completely different. And so we need to think in a different way. For this reason, I decided to team up with my girlfriend and run an exploratory Tinder experiment. Now, I don't think it would be a surprise to learn that women get a hell of a lot more matches on Tinder than guys do. That wouldn't make this video very interesting at all. Over 99 in an hour and a half. Instead, I wanted to learn what is it that the guys do who inspire women to go on dates with them that the guys who don't aren't doing. So I got my girlfriend to create a fake profile to protect her local privacy here. We chose a face that we think will appeal to the broadest range of men. This is Esmeralda, and this is what we wrote in her profile. I'm a Spanish girl learning English here. I love the beach and having a few drinks with friends. Still feeling a bit scared in a new place. People are mean to cyclists in this country. Bonus points if you have a dog. I asked her to swipe right on every single guy she saw because I wanted to do a few experiments. I wanted to see if really attractive guys behave differently to unattractive guys. I wanted to see if tall guys and short guys behave differently. I wanted to see if guys of different nationalities responded differently and a whole host of other small tests on the side. But why did I get my girlfriend to do this experiment rather than me? Well, because I wanted to record her real reactions, her real feelings to what she was experiencing as she was engaging with and talking to these guys and looking through their profiles rather than a guy pretending to be a woman. You know, like a guy actually pretending, not like, you know. <laughs> so after four days of running this experiment, what can my girlfriend teach us? How was your experience with the first messages guys were sending you? Um, to be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed. I write a profile, just a few of them, they use my profile information about the cycling or about dogs or about the information that I put. And they create jokes about that. That conversation engage, engage my attention. I want to reply that message because it was funny. The message that I received with, hi, beautiful, how are you? Uh, There's like, um, no, because uh, when you have a lot of message, you don't pay attention to the common message that you are receiving. You put attention to that message that catch your attention already. In fact, out of 60 messages, only eight commented on her profile and four actually bothered to tease or make a joke about it. There's an interesting thing. Uh, when you are talking with a lot of people on Tinder, sometimes you just forget who is another person that is talking to you. When you receive 10 messages, 15 if you have 20 conversations, you know, you cannot remember the names or every detail that you're talking with the guys. So that is stressful when the conversation are interesting, that makes me feel that I need to come back to the profile and check, oh, it's this guy. So that is a, a second opportunity, it was a second chance just to connect with the guy again and just to give visibility in your, in your world. Women frequently will turn to apps like Tinder, Bumble or Hinge, just to have a little bit of conversation or make some friends. Most of the time in my past, when I go to Tinder, is because I want to have new friends, because I want to have new conversations. Probably sometimes I want to go out and get fun. Number four, women quickly burn out using online dating. And very often they leave the app long before they remember to delete it. I use Tinder multiple times in my life. But yes, all the time, short period of, th of time, because the experience for me is really stressful. Even if you just get five matches per day, that means that you need to have five different conversations. At the beginning, basically, it's the same information. And when you start to receive multiple messages, hi, beautiful, hi, how are you? What are you going to do? It's stressful. So at one point, it's like, no, I don't want to, to answer more messages. And before to close the app, I'm just forget the app like one month. So this common experience that so many guys have where they've matched with a woman and she never seems to reply very often this can simply be that they're just not on the app anymore. I believe that it's really important that the guys just show the real interest that they have in the first conversation. But of course, the first conversation needs to be fun enough. In the best point of the conversation, you are joking, you are laughing. At this point, ah, what do you think if we continue this one in a coffee shop? Also, when you invite her 
is a good opportunity to ask for the number or the Instagram. Why? Because even if the girl say yes or no, you are going to have the opportunity to meet, to meet her or to talk to her in an individual space. The thing that happened on Tinder is like if we are talking two times, three times during a week, I'm just forget what is your face. I just forget what I talk to you. I'm just forget who you are. So after the first conversation, when you have my attention, because it's the most important conversation on Tinder, you can get the Instagram, the number or a date. What were some of the things that quickly turned you off when you were using the app? The sexual message. It's really annoying when you match with someone and immediately the guy just sent a sexual message. I think that it's not that good way to connect with someone, even if you if you want sex. And this was the case for you when you were younger and you weren't looking for anything serious at that point in your life? You still wanted him not to be too sexual quickly? Yes, of course. When a girl decides to go out or even to have sex with a lot of guys, the girl needs to feel that she's deciding. <laughs> you know, even if I want to have sex with 10 guys today, I need to decide who is the guy who's going to sleep with me. So that is important to create something that makes me feel comfortable with you. But if immediately you just send me a naked photo or a sexual message, it's not going to happen and most of the time you just cancel the match. Once you've matched with a woman, you're no longer competing so strongly on looks. Instead, you're competing with engagement and personality. At the moment that you get the match, the most important thing is the conversation. Because if you get the match, you already know that that girl feel attraction for you. So after that, the only thing that you need to put attention is the conversation. What is the thing that makes you different? It's not just the, 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 the beautiful face. It's not just a beautiful car. It's not that. Because if you analyze, if an average girl, she gets more matches than you. Your job is to be different of the rest of the guys. My perception, my opinion in this experiment, if I will be single, I'm just there with two guys. You know, we have, I think, more than 50 guys. But I'm just decide to go on a date with two of them. Yeah, they are regular one, but they were smart, they were polite, and they gave me a really good conversation. So while yes, every woman certainly is different, and I am pretty damn sure that my Latin girlfriend is certainly more crazy than the average chica, I don't believe that her experiences are that different to what I'm hearing from other women that I've interviewed in the past. It's true that going by the numbers alone, you certainly have a lot of competition online. But the reality is that most of your competition is rubbish. I mean, seriously, just have a look at some of these photos guys are putting up. Real guys, real profiles that we've been dealing with the last four days. This is what you're competing against, guys. Now, if you're really struggling with your online dating profile, I want to point you towards the School of Online Dating. It's an online coaching program where I will show you step by step how to take amazing photos that build attraction, how to write a profile that get right swipes, and how to send messages that get responses and dates. I'll throw a link down in the comments below and I highly recommend you check that out right now. Now, if you really wanna take your online dating to the next level, I highly recommend you check out this video that I'll put through up here, or here, I never remember which side, where I'm gonna show you exactly how to take incredible photos for your online dating profile using just a mobile phone in your pocket.